Good to go. Ah, that's working. Hosty, hosty. Toasty, toasty. Manage settings, right? I just have to do one quick thing with the settings. Uh, I have to add... They knew! Um... What does they know? Uh, well, what it is is they... Yeah, they know nothing. Um, but there's a, a mod that allows us to find from time to time a cure to the, the thing on zombie bodies. What? On zombie bodies? The cure to the disease, the plague, the whatever the thing it is that makes us keep dying. You can... Oh. F once in a while, you can actually find a cure on one of them for it. Huh. So, so it's not always a death sentence. Because <laughs> I just think that was silly. That it's always a death sentence. I'm like, there's no chance to do anything. Okay, start the world up. Start the world. Yes, that probably helped a lot. Yeah, no, I know. I mean, your full philosophy is kill them in the face till they die from it, right? So. Almost all that damage is yeah, no, it was great. It was glorious to watch. Yep, yeah, it was glorious to watch. Um, yeah, that was the first time I did Corrosion Kitty. Corrosion Kitty was fun. What is this? Oh. It made me download one of my own mods. I'm like, I already had that mod. Okay, whatever. <laughs> it's like, you have to download... Uh, you should be able to just join through me, but uh, yeah, I can do that, no problem. It's easier if I send you an invite. Then you don't got to look around through your list. And it looks like I'm getting in. It's taking a second. It's being slower than I like, which is any amount of slowness at all is more than I like. Okay, uh, where's the invite button? Oh yeah, right, I think I gotta do this. Give me a minute here, I got some cats waiting for supper. Ah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cats like being fed. At least that's what they tell me. They do. They also like throwing up afterwards quite often, which is not the greatest. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah. Well, yeah. one of them gets, uh... She's got some sort of nausea issue. Hmm. Is she just sick of you? I mean, <laughs> sorry, no, that's terrible. <laughs> I don't know, I think the vet says she's got like a gas pocket on her intestines. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that before. It's not serious, but it's annoying. I know yeah, that it's one. Messy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's a good word for it. Very messy. Yes, cats tend to be that when they are being gaseous. And nauseous and other us's. Okay, so let's see. Hey, so many kinds of chicken. We are so freaking dark now. Like chicken. the lack of light is real. Okay, I have to go to the washroom. You guys can all jump in, okay? Right? You got your invite? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Sounds good. I'll, I I I brb.
taken care of. A happy cat is a good cat. Uh, no, they're usually still bad. <laughs> <laughs> A happy cat is a slightly more tolerable cat. I have to stay and watch them eat their food too, because Sketchy always bolsters down really quickly and then goes and tries to steal bunnies. <laughs> so she needs a copper out to keep her from doing that <laughs> until Bunny finishes, because she usually only eats like about half of her food, half to three quarters, and then Sketchy will devour the rest. <laughs> My dad's dog Gage. Uh, he was he was annoyed with us the other day. Baha. We, uh, we went to town. And we did a bunch of things. He just really, it's, when he's uh, left alone with his van, he uh, he wants his strip of bacon. Oh yeah. And, uh, Whoa! What are we talking about? Dad was all out, so uh, so he had to wait until we actually went grocery shopping. What is this, like a nephew of yours? <laughs> Sorry, I walked in on this conversation. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. Some kids like a strip of bacon. It shuts them up on a car ride. Uh, I like bacon. Can I have some bacon? I hear zombies around us. So hopefully once we have some light, we can sort that out. Um, so what we're going to need today, almost certainly, is some gasoline to run our generator. I don't know how to, um, you know, do that thing. Put gasoline in a generator? How to siphon it from cars. Oh, even if you can. Well, you know, this it's a great time. I was, I was walking around with two gas cans for a while, but mm -hmm. you have a gas can in your hand and you go to the side of it and it'll give you a prompt. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's gotta be in your hand the way. Okay. That's what it is. All right. I was gonna say we could just look it up, but apparently Wayne already knows, so hooray. Yeah, I've already done this. Ah well <laughs> look at you. That's great. Good to know. So we'll get all that, I guess. Uh, let's see, where's the next metal working? Uh, where do we find those? Do we make them? Do Are they just in houses? You don't know? Well, then why don't I look that one up? I can look that one up. Project. Yeah, and I'm also working on metal working so I can get better walls built. <laughs> And carpentry in addition to, but yeah, we need to get some defenses around here. And hopefully we don't die too quickly. Place a little candle in a can. All right. This is reasonably new. Once the power goes out, how do you light up your base? What's a good, uh, good suggestions? When you have a generator, you can pick up wall lamps or table lamps. You've seen houses. Okay. You have to change the bulbs when they get broken, but we have some extra bulbs already. I saw that. Campfires create some light. Not much, though. Cat eyes perk. Oh, didn't take that. Uh, flashlight on a post with a rope. A couple planks, and you guessed it. The last light of the flashlight. Goes out pretty quickly, but illuminates as much as a regular seething light. The batteries are quite plentiful anyway. Okay, so that's that's a possibility. Where can I find candles? Candles can be found in wardrobes, counters, and gift stores. Oh, how do you use a generator? Okay. 
you need to pick either electrician occupation or read how to use generators items scattered all over the world. Then hook it up with, to, with your base. Open the generator context menu and select connect generator option. So electrician you say. I have electrical going. I don't have any skill in it. Oh, I have one XP in electrical. I mean, I'm practically on my way to being an electrician over here. How to use a generator, though. I don't think we have that book. Let me just poke my nose into this box of books here. Uh, a hunting magazine. Make wooden cage trap. Oh. You know, there's like a farming magazine in here, Wayne. I don't know if you looked at that. It teaches how to make mildew cure, to make flies cure. There's a couple of things you can make out of that. Yeah. Yeah, it says the farmer, the farming magazine. There's a few like that, like the hunter magazine. It can make wooden cage traps and stuff like that. There's a couple that are just more than for beginners and intermediate stuff. They're stuff with specific recipes. I'm trying to go through some of those now. The Metalwork magazine. Oh, I read all those, right? To make metal walls. Oh, that didn't even destroy the book. Nope. Those ones stick around, which is great. I mean, yeah. Well, oh. getting lighter. And Dan found a zombie. You okay there, Dan? You need any help? I got it. I think there's more, though. Fuck. Okay. That's me. That's you. You okay out here? I'm gonna... Yeah, there's a couple more over on the, the okay. left. Okay, I'm going to come back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're behind you. Mm -hmm. Nice, dude. Yeah, this uh, spike bat is awesome when it's uh, <laughs> yeah. wheeled two-handed. Right? I made lots of extras because they're real easy to make. Okay, so it is morning time, which means we're going to look for treasures now. Oh. Why do we keep leaving this gate open? Because I'm grabbing bodies to throw in that thing. That makes a lot of sense. I'll stop closing it on you. It's almost like you thought that through or something. Right, I gotta go eat up these fresh vegetables in here. Yep. I'm gonna eat carrots, oh yeah! Sitting around eating carrots. Just like in real life. Planks and nails. I gotta go grab the shovel and fill in those three graves. There's a duffel bag here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a fridge that has full of fresh carrots. Eat those before they go bad. And they're really good for you, too. Yeah, yeah, that fridge right there. Get those carrots. Well, they're hot. Well, they're not really hot, but they're probably warm because the fridge went out. You cook them. Well, you could. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to. 
Because then you can't stick them up to your face and do the Bugs Bunny and be like, what's up, Doc? Do you know how important that is? Oh, there it's in the fridge. Mm -hmm. There's lots of them. Don't eat the broccoli, though, because, I mean, that one's really... Uh, actually makes you sad to eat straight broccoli. I'll try to find a recipe for those as soon as I can. But they, they don't seem to go bad, so like, the broccoli never goes bad. I don't know where this broccoli was grown, but I kind of don't want to. <laughs> Okay, so I need to find metal things to take apart. And not Wayne's garbage can this time. He disapproved of me doing that last time. Oh, that was annoying. Oh, there's some zombies in their garage. Got one shotted. That's what's up. Is that what's up? It is. Now you know. Hola. Hey there. Hello. Any anything exciting happen? Not yet. Just the sun came up. That's about it. That's good. Yeah, we like it when that happens. I forgot to ask, so when we log off, uh, but the server is still up, is our character still just sitting around, or do they just disappear? Darn, I never thought to look, because we log off at the same time every time. Fair enough. But no, I never I never looked around to see where well, people guessing, might be. Because I'm, I'm, I logged out, like, on the bed, so I'm guessing if I'm not there, then... Hmm. No, you're not there. Okay. That is useful knowledge, though, because that means you know you're not going to die while exactly. you're... Yeah, that is that is useful. Cool to know, though. Yeah, there was nothing on the bed. No one on the bed, especially you. If you were, then I might have done stuff to you while you were unconscious. But, you know, it didn't work out that way. <laughs> I mean, at that point, you're basically just playing, like, uh, DayZ. Mm -hmm. uh, Threw those planks on the floor instead of in my duffel bag. What is, what is they new? Oh, that's the one that you showed me that's the cure. Right. That's the one that you can find the cure on certain bodies. Or, or at least a vitamin that prevents you from getting, so, from getting so it. Certain, certain zombies have a, a chance of having a cure. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's more often that they'll have like pills that will protect you from infection for 24 hours. Yeah, and those are good too. I can't take apart this lamppost. I mean, it's made out of metal. Uh, there, there was another one that I was considering, um, but I, I'm not sure like how updated it is and whether or not there's still problems with it. Mm -hmm. uh, but there was a thing where if you died, rather than losing all of your skill points, um, it would have a chance to lose a level in a skill. Oh, well, you know, I really like that. And I was like, you know, I would rather take a chance of losing a, a skill level rather than just losing everything all at once. I am all about that, actually, because this I find it sort of ludicrous uh, having to start from scratch every time. Yeah. I don't mind a repercussion. Don't get me wrong. Like, it, it shouldn't be okay to die, but yeah, no, it's... Uh, it's a bit much to start all over again every time. Yeah. Grab this um, metal sheet and return with it. Actually, I think there was another mod I was planning on linking you. I just completely forgot about it. Uh, but it adds, like, more clothes and other bags and stuff like that. Okay. Not a, not a huge thing right now, but... Uh, no, no, I mean, I don't mind if few mods that make the game more flavorful. I do find it's sort of bland, like that broccoli in our fridge that never goes bad. So. 
I, I can't understand why that broccoli never goes bad. I, I kind of want to find out, but I don't. Hey, there's bookshelves in here now. Did you build those? Those look really good. You put nails and, and planks on them, though. That's a strange place for that. You built them just so you can take them apart again? No, I wanted to put the planks there because mm. I'm going to build more. Ah! So I wanted the planks to be handy. Oh! You know what you're doing. This is getting your carpentry skill up, no doubt. Oh, well, I have my doubts. <laughs> about, about your carpentry skills? Well, I mean, that's okay. Okay, I grabbed more garbage bags, because apparently garbage bags are a thing you definitely want to grab every time you find them, I was reading. Not that I mean to meta too hard at this, but... Probably because of water, I'm guessing? Well, that, and they, they become rare or something later on down the line. Need a, uh... uh need them for water collectors. Mm-hmm. Right, so I mean, I'm grabbing as many as I can when I find them. Okay, I think our food storage is full in this crate here. Uh, well, there's another one over here and another one over there. We got three three food crates, so take your pick. Oh, this is where the other metalworking is. Eh, I gotta move that friggin' metal sheet. Come with me. Uh, do we have electronics somewhere? Yep, we sure do. You're at it. <laughs> uh, do you want maps to go in? The there's a map. There's a map box back here. Oh, uh, yeah, there's uh, the top one at the back here has maps in them. I know it's not all perfectly organized, but this is the best I could do with, you know, the little time I had. Whoa, where did my... Where did my inventory go? I don't want that disappearing. Get back here. <laughs> you, you gotta place it and then you can spit it around. Before you before you confirm it. Yep. Took me a few minutes to do that one too. Thirsty. Alright, well that's that's its own it didn't do well, then you can pick it back up. On the left hand side, um, underneath the heart, there's a uh, crafting and below that is the one that you can pick things up and put them down. Oh and rotate them. Look at that. I guess you can just use that. Did you, you see where I mean? Okay. So, so select the pickup option and pick up the thing you placed first. And then I imagine you just... Nice shelves, Dad. And I imagine you just pick the rotation option. I was thinking of maybe just to organize stuff a little better. Maybe put, like, construction supplies in this room or something. I'm okay with that, man. If you want to organize shit, I'd be thrilled. <laughs> These crates stacked on crates are a little confusing. So. I cannot disagree with you there. It's it's oh, what we have at the moment. You uh, enabled the uh, trash can delete all. Buttons. I did. Oh, you, nice. you guys asked for that, so I was like, I remembered. I had a good memory the other day. I'm not sure what happened. So I'm gonna just delete all the key rings that are in there. Yeah, yeah, man. That's that's a great idea. But yeah, no, I uh, remembered that you wanted that on, so I was like, okay, let's do this. Oh, there's a lot of stuff on the ground here. Planks, screws. <laughs> Wayne, you're leaving planks and screws everywhere. But at least we know where they are when we want them, right? No, I'm using them. I'm trying to put them down. I can't figure out how to rotate the wall. It's uh, R. It, it says... Oh, Is it R? Okay. I could not find that in the, in the, uh, in the key bindings anywhere. I understand. Oh, you're building a wall. This is great. It's a nice tall one, too. Guess we might as well clear out these boneheads. Yeah, well, 
You looked a little lonely, Wayne. I'm sorry. Oh, she took a chunk out of you. Are you okay? They're good. They're all dead. But are you okay? No, she never got me. Oh, good. I heard the chomping sound, so I was worried. There's a couple more over here, but I'm going to try to... <sighs> See if there's any more than just these two. Come on, buddy. Yeah, just you. Just you. Let's go. Just you. Kind of getting better at fighting, so I like that. Why can't I eat these canned beans? Animal print underpants? Oh, dude. <laughs> <That's pretty> sweet. <laughs> That's, I can't believe they put shit like that in this game. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> they thought of everything. <laughs> uh, Why can't I eat my canned beans? What the hell? This guy's got a letter opener. As a melee weapon. You gotta open the can. Yeah, it... It's open? It is open. Oh, my game just crashed. Oh my god. Well, that's not okay. You don't want it to do that. No. Yeah, no, I... no, no, no. Well, I was going to go looking for that mod so I could link it to you in Discord. Okay. Well, I, I just hope that this isn't a thing that happens to all of us. But, uh, sorry that happened. No, yeah, that's fine. Uh, where was it? Because that lady, I think she did bite you. Well, then it might just be that you're uh, carrying too much. Carrying too much also gives you minor damage. Oh, there is a zombie in here. Kind of figured there was going to be at least one in here. Yes, I'd better go deal with it. Let's hope there isn't going to be a whole bunch more up around this corner. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I'll look into that for next session. Not a problem at all. It's a metal sheet on the ground here. So there's a little water left in some of these sinks around here. Hopefully no zombies bother me while I'm taking shit apart. Seems clear over here. That's true, we need to start taking down zombies and looking for this cure thing. Alright, I got two points of skill on that now.
this wall is looking real nice. At some point, we'll have to try to figure out a gate for it, but it looks friggin' fantastic, man. Mm -hmm. I think that that's a really good spot for it. I, I really like what you're doing there. That's going to give us plenty of real estate to work with in this parking lot. Full, I can't even squeeze another garbage bag in it. Wow. I'll take the scrap wood out of here because this is not for this. Not where scrap wood goes. Do, do be careful. I'm adding scrap wood to this fire and if we light it. I don't think we take damage from walking over fires, but nobody's tested it yet because nobody wants to be the guy that does it. <laughs> you know? Should we I find mean, you, You're thinking about it? That's a, that's a, that's a pretty fair... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Nobody wants to be the one that decides... I don't know if I want to explore whether or not we're flammable. Uh, I'm going to go with I'm no. i do it on like a new character that had no skills, or like next time I die or something like that. Yeah, that's reasonable. Okay, i got to go read the next metalworking book, because I managed to get that up. Let's see. Oh, uh, I have that generator still. I need to go find some fuel for this gas can in order to... Uh... Mm -hmm. Do you know how to get it out of cars? We were just discussing that before you showed up. To get it out of cars? Yeah, you hold the gas can in your hand and it gives you an option to siphon the gas from cars. Yeah, I mean, I had to fill up this whole van to get here, so... Never mind! Of course you know. <laughs> Forgot all about that. How do you think I got you? Uh, I thought you magically teleported in on a stork like most humans. Clothes box. Oh yeah, this looks good. It's got some extra clothing items and stuff. Okay. Sure. Oh, we don't have any metal working past this one. Since we're not using the walkie-talkies, uh, I'm just going to dismantle them to parts. I think it's a good idea. Wonderful idea. The ham radio. I don't see why there would be a reason to use the ham radio. Oh, wait, and thank you. That's 11 months. 11 months you've been... So, a subscription thing. I just looked over and saw it. <laughs> yeah, I guess I hit the, the day I realized it. Nice. Well, thank you. 11 whole months, man. It's almost a year. Just about. Just about. <laughs> One more month for a year. I think you'd probably be the first one to hit it, actually. I don't think so. Yeah, but I think he also missed a month. Because he... Yeah, I think he gave it to one of his other friends for a month, because, I don't know, the, uh, some cute girl. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, some girl that he was watching, he's like, oh, I gave her the sub for this month, and I'll get it back to you next month. I'm like, whatever you gotta do, man. <laughs> ah, freaking gamer girls. Uh, where do we have wood planks? Uh, in a couple of different block boxes. In this... In this uh... Oh, oh. Shelves. Yeah. Go through the door, take a right. 
Dan was starting to put a few things out there so it's better organized. There's only three of them currently. I'm carrying the other ones because I'm going to build a composter. And if you really need more, go down the street that Wayne's on, and they're all up and down the block. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, there's there's a restaurant that's right there, Wayne, and I, I cleared it out, and you can go in there and start taking apart chairs, and it'll get you more. Because I started taking apart some of the chairs in there. It's clear, and there's some sources of water in there if you need a drink. There's two bathrooms, and they both still have a little bit of water. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice nearby source of water for when you're working there. Okay. I found another shotgun while I was out. Nice. Those are good. You might want to check our weapon stock, though, and see if there's any you might want to take apart. I don't know if you can take yeah. them apart. Because we have multiples of quite a few. So, what, there's four of us? And, so yeah. Maybe anything over six? I think anything over three. <laughs> we won't need any more than three of every of any gun. Can actually dismantle these. Oh, okay then. Don't worry about that then. Just leave them be for now. Uh, you can convert the uh, shotguns to sawed-offs. I mean, that's really <laughs> irrelevant. I was kind of hoping we could take them apart for like parts to repair the other ones, but I guess that's not a thing. We've got a composter out by the fields here, so we can throw our rotten stuff in there. Oh, dude, right on. Um, okay, I don't know if any of the rotten stuff I put in the garbage can got deleted or not. It did. Oh. All right. We'll have more rotten stuff, I'm sure of it. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know how long these carrots will last, for example. We'll just eat them until either they're gone or rotten. <laughs> but do check them before you eat them. <laughs> Whoops. There's a couple more. There are quite a few more hammers over here. Well, you know, since we have so many shotguns anyways, I'll convert a few of them to sawed-offs. <laughs> Hammers is the one thing we have a lot of, because every new character starts with one. <laughs> so we've been throwing them in the boxes. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What, enemies? You need help? No, I, I gouged up just trying to go through that construction that I built. Hmm. Isn't that lovely? Just walked through it, or were you running? I just walked through it. And it wow, and it sliced you up. <laughs> All right, things we learn as we go. That one's a bit silly, but it is what it is. Why am I carrying too much? Story of my life. I was just sitting here reading a book and all of a sudden it's like, you're carrying too much. I'm like that. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, let's do this. What is this music? This isn't good music, guys. I'm listening to my own music, so... <laughs> I have the sound turned right off. I know, I just had a zombie grab me from right behind a tree, but I managed to get away without getting hit. We have, like, scared the shit out of me, though. scary marching, charging music happening. Uh, do we have more spike baseball bats? Yes. In with the rest of the weapons. Which are I mean, not, not the guns. No, no, but it's near them. Not over here. Yeah, sa same pile as the near the guns. Yeah, there's quite a few spike baseball bats. You don't have one. I do, but mine's uh, on its way out. Then repair it. Grab some nails from the box beside you and just repair it. Rather than swapping them, repair the one you have. 
And you can get some nails or to the box on your leg. Okay. Nails should be in here. Oh, hang on. These guns are in the wrong... We might have moved them. I moved them. Oh, the nails have moved. Okay, well, find find the nails. And the boxes of nails are all with you, too? Oh, yeah, I found the, found the box. Okay. <laughs> uh, but if I can just repair it, I may as well. Maybe okay, we'll... here's the nails in here. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. So, I'll grab... Sorry, where are they? In in this room with the fridge. Oh, Which, and, uh, I'll... Well, I don't know, I'll just call this the fridge room. And you can grab some nails, and you go to repair well, we'll spike baseball it, we'll bat. And use it. the living room, and we'll call this the warehouse. How about that? <laughs> nice. Yeah, you just take some nails, and you go right-click your bat, hit repair, and then select the nail as the thing you want to use to repair it, and then you can turn your bat into more nail than bat. <laughs> Which is essentially what I believe is happening here. Yeah, it's getting my maintenance levels up to it, so I like that. Okay, our gun uh, box is full. I'm going to move stuff that's not guns out into okay. the ammo box. If necessary. Including the magazine. Oh. Oh, I need to eat again. I feel like I just ate. <laughs> it's not life, eh? Me every time I have Chinese food. Oh yeah, yeah. That's everybody, though. Uh, not me. Really? I'm good for Chinese food. Hmm. That's incredible to me. I like that carrots also provide thirst points. That's a good one. I mean, it makes sense because if they're yeah. fresh carrots, mm -hmm. got some water in them. Okay. I'm also removing all of the upgrades on all of these guns. Save a little bit of weight that way. Oh, cool! I didn't realize the guns had upgrades, but that's good to know. We can mix and match them the way we want to better. Exactly. Oh yeah, and you found a. I, I think I spotted a mod where you can do multiplayer sleep, which means everybody can go to sleep and make the night pass. Yep. Uh... I mean, we end up just working through the night, so you know, the the, the not needing to sleep thing isn't so bad. <laughs> yeah, if if we were like forced to sleep, that's a little bit more <laughs> than what I'd feel comfortable with handling right now. Indubitably. Until we get a little bit more comfortable with, uh, with the game. I agree. But there was a mod that's like, you can sleep, but you don't have to. I was like, yeah, that's what I would take. <laughs> but once we have lights, it probably will be a moot point anyhow. At least I feel well, that if way. If I can get all these gas cans filled... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have some. 30 units of gas. Uh, is anybody near the generator in there right now? Uh, just you, you're closest. <laughs> Am I now? Yeah, Wayne is here resting with me by the fire, and Dan's out collecting goodies. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, generator in <coughs> I just want to know how much fuel it can hold, but I don't think I'll be able to find that out until I actually start putting gas in it. 10 million years fuel. Uh, also, just a heads up, um, generators will generate uh, carbon monoxide. Oh, so don't hang out in the room with it? So don't <coughs> hang out in the room with it. If you if you can, either have it in a separate room or keep it outside. Uh, it'll, it'll cover everything uh, on the ground floor and above it uh, okay. for electricity, but it has a radius around it that it generates for power for. I I can't remember what the radius is. Though. What room is it in now? It's in the living room. The living room? The room the that... And the, oh. I'm just calling it the living room. Oh, 
Okay, that's not the best room for it then, because we gonna we we go in there. Um, if you put it outside, does it attract zombies? Uh, it will through the noise it generates. Okay. But I don't know how much noise that would be. Or if they attack it. That too. You know, those are things we need to figure out. <clears throat> While we're working on getting defenses up, Wayne's building a, a, a wood wall. I'm going to hopefully soon be doing metal walls. At least, you know, like the immediate low fence area around us, I'm going to replace with high metal walls. Yeah, the high metal walls will be good. Uh, I'm, actually, yeah. uh, I was looking into it as well. Apparently metal walls mm -hmm. are no better than just regular wooden walls. What? Yeah, which is blowing my mind. And... I was looking to see if there was a mod that changed that, but I actually couldn't find anything. Oh, whatever. At least I'll be using different resources. I'll take yeah, the win yeah. from that. It's apparently like a metal wall is just as easy to break as a wooden wall. And it's like, well, why make metal walls at all? <laughs> because you're using a different resource, I guess. That would be the only upside to that. It's a zombie body inside of our base again. Uh, yeah, remember. there was a couple climbing over the fence there. So. This one's like in the house, though. Is there a way to just tell yourself to repair the bath until it... Nope. One at a time. Sorry, man. I know. I'm annoyed by that, too. There's, there's gotta be a way. No, man. There's not. Hmm. Well, locked doors aren't an obstacle since I can just disassemble them. <laughs> Let's hope there isn't like a shit ton of zombies behind this door. Because that would suck. I can't imagine there is, though. They would have heard us by now. But at least we'll know what's in this shed below our garden. Empty gas can. Light bulbs. Planks. Screwdriver. Door engine. Metal sheets. Safety goggles. Wire, scrap metal. Oh, another welder's mask. Saw, screwdriver, axe. All right, there's some good shit in here. I mean, I'm going to leave it in here, but... I know where it is. Oh, apparently your uh, weapons become more difficult to repair the more you repair it. Okay. So there, there will be a point where you'll want to just replace it. Hmm. I'm not a fan of that. I mean, in a sense, you can only repair a wooden bat with nails in it so many times. You can only put so many layers of duct tape on it. What are you doing with this logic crap? Yeah, I'm not liking it. Get out of here with that. I'm not liking any of that. <laughs> Yeah, because I've repaired this bat like three times and it had 75% chance success and now it's 69%. Also night. Nice. Yeah, so every time you repair it, percent chance to repair goes down. I, I'm claiming that, uh, that that one container beside the door to the, into the base. Sure. The farming supplies. All yours, man. Sounds wonderful. That's a good spot for that. Good thinking. I wholeheartedly support that. Just going through these corpses you left out here. One of them had a uh, walkie-talkie we can disassemble. That doesn't suck. Oh, gold nose stud. I don't know. I, if 
feel like I could really be styling with one of those. A slightly easier way to repair as well, rather than going into your inventory, is if you have it equipped on your 1, 2, or 3 button, you can right-click it there and repair it from that menu. Okay. A little bit faster. There's a couple of zombies here. Got anything useful on you fellas? It was nice of you to drop by and get killed. Nothing, eh? Damn. <clears throat> I mean, you'd think if they were going to drop by, they could at least have something good on them. One's got a gun on its back. Ah, shotgun, a pistol, okay. This lady had a shotgun and a pistol. This other room with the metal shelf in it mm -hmm. would probably be the better place to put the generators. Okay. Uh, if we could get like a window or something to just have open. That might be a better way to do it. Is there a window in that room already? There isn't, so we need to add one. Should be able to do that just fine. I hear a zombie in this direction. No, I'm over by Wayne. I uh, picked up all your scrap wood, though, because I'm going to go use it as firewood. It's excellent for that. Yeah, it's not good for anything else, so I'll literally just burn it. <laughs> That's you who left the bat on the ground? Hmm. You want to come deal with the zombies when you get a bat? I'll bring you a spiked bat. I don't know why you had a regular one. Just dropping off this friggin' wood, and then I'll be right there. God damn. I can't come running back because I'm like way over encumbered. I didn't know that that was your bat. Oh, there was a saw and a hammer there, too. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, don't you have like a bag on your back? You can throw those things in the bag on your back instead of on the ground. Uh, right here. Oh, fuck. Right there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, we're, we're, get out of the way. I can't see is the problem. Did he, did he bite you? Ah, uh, dude, I'm sorry. Okay, wow. Uh, let's see. Zombie. I didn't know. He's got a house key. <laughs> oh, I didn't know he followed you in here. Sorry, man. Son of a bitch. Fuck. Sorry, man. I have to go. I'll have to go kill some dudes and help you find a cure for that. Um, why can't I start this fire? I have a lighter. Oh, it did put the last one in. Okay, fuck. Look for that after. Oh no. Yeah, this weapons box is completely full. Alright, I'm gonna start putting it into this ex the overflow into this excess box over here. Okay, we got gas. Tools. So it looks like one gas can gives it eighty percent. From zero. Oh, that's not the worst. I'll fill this one. I'll go fill the other one. Uh, does anybody have any electrician skill? Mm, not yet. Okay. Oh, I wish I could see. Are the screws out with the wooden nails there, Dan? Yeah. They're wonderful. Thank you. All right, the both generators are full, and we still have a little bit of gas left in this one can. That's really amazing. Yeah, thankfully there was a couple cars nearby that had, like, a huge amount of gas available. So. That is very, very beneficial. Now we have to go try to find the freaking cure thingy because Wayne may have been infected. Uh, I don't know. I know you got bit, but I'm just going to assume that you did and worry about it now rather than when it's. To assume than, uh, yeah. Not. And since I took your bat, because I didn't know, then I'll uh, take it upon myself to get out there and try to find it. Because you're busy with a bigger project. I.E. defense. <laughs> uh, I'll go around and see if I can find any zombies that might have that. Yep, I mean, the, the nice thing about this is we need to test to make sure it's working anyway. So, yeah. But now there's also a zombie in here with us, which is also less than ideal. We're going to start this campfire, which will give us a little bit. Oh, I should probably take a rest first. Just starting the campfire, I'm warning people about that. So there, that gives us a little bit of light. Oh, I can apparently sleep right now. You can sleep? Yeah. Okay. So... So I did enable oh, it. Oh, 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 you're on fire. Move, move. Son of a bitch. 
<laughs> now we know. <laughs> now we know. <laughs> now we know. <laughs> oh, I'm the host. If you sleep. Hang on, hang on. Let me take a look at you. Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's yeah. He got burned on his left forearm. Oh wow. Okay, well now we know. Thank you, Wayne. You, you didn't have to, but it was nice of you to confirm that how that works. So if we if we come to the corner of the bed, there's a sleep option. Yeah, I just did it, and some time passed by. Like for me, anyway. I don't know. I'm in too much pain to sleep. Is that what it says? Uh, take some painkillers. Mm -hmm. We have painkillers in the box at the back. Really sorry about that, man. Right. What, why am I over encumbered? Oh, right. Uh, you got time to pass. I'm sitting here and no time is passing. Okay, well, my cl might be because I'm the host. I don't know. But i got to go dump off a corpse before I do much of anything anyway. i got to rest anyways. Because so. Wayne brought me a friend. Because <laughs> I took his bat. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought everybody had spiked bats. You should probably grab a spiked bat this time, anyway. They're way better. And there's quite a few of them. I'm, I made my bat into a spike, spike bat. Oh, perfect. Yeah, and they they do a lot more damage. So. Um, Still too much, too much pain to sleep. Funny, we can all sleep on the same bed. It says you want to sleep. And now I'm sleeping. And now there's a little clock in the center of the screen, and it's moving. It moved for me. It moved for me. Yeah, it, it moved when like the ten minutes passed, but it's not uh, actually working, working unless everybody's asleep. Got it. Okay. And Dan just got here, so let's see what happens when we all sleep. We can test this out. Be interesting to find out. There it goes. Wow, that's way faster. And then, like. And I can see that healing. have got some bandages Okay, this is past morning now, so I guess we have to stop it manually. No, 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 it'll stop automatically. What? Oh, but it's morning now. Yeah, but it, it stops automatically once, like, uh, the rest cycle has finished. No. Well, we're good. We don't need the sleep. I'll, uh, I'll bandage up the wound here. I've got a couple oh. sterilized rags here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a bunch as well. Okay. Yeah, I am pretty when we get the opportunity to, though, it is good to have one person do most of the healing because then they get their levels up and that will be beneficial down the line. So it's fine to let Ochi do that. If you're over on your own, though, of course, you're going to have to fend for yourself. But when we're here at the base, having one person doing all the healing is a good idea. So yeah, I wonder what I can do with this fire to make it less dangerous for everyone. Because it's kind of really close to the bed. I wonder if I can, like, make a counter and put it on top of it. So you'll, you'll probably want to keep some painkillers on you until that burn goes away. Um, I'm gonna have to go and... Oh my god, it's foggy. Whoa. Oh yeah? These shells really don't hold very much, unfortunately. No, but that's something. Okay, so this has got a lot of scrap metal in the recipe. Of course, we can make metal shelves still hold <coughs> twice as much, I think. So you make a wood wall frame, right? And then what do you do to fill it in? Uh, you, I don't know. I'm asking, wait. <laughs> you make a wood wall frame. Then you go up to it and it'll give you a bunch of 
options for building a wall. Nice. Okay. So it's got to be similar with the metal then. Okie dokie. Thank you. And then it'll show an overlay that you can put over the frame. Wonderful. So our generators aren't up because we need to connect them. Okay, electrician profession. Yeah, we need an electrician in order to do it. I'm going to start reading some of those books and figure mm -hmm. out. Or finding the book that tells you how to operate them. Wow, fog. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, I mean. I told you it was foggy. Yeah, I, 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 I was pretty sure I believed you until I got out here and I was like, whoa. Bitch. What happened? Should, I'm gonna come guard you. <laughs> you got attacked. Did you get attacked, Wayne? Yeah. I think I'm gonna die from really stupid shit this game. I hope not. Damn, this is so freaking foggy. Did you manage to patch yourself up, though? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna come late. As long as you don't get bit in the neck. Yeah, then you're really hosed. Okay, I'm here with you. Oh, fuck. That scared the shit out of me. Well, I said I was coming to protect you, because here comes a zombie. So, I'll deal with it. Okay, we're going all these rest of you And while I'm doing this, I can check them for... Nope, no cure on that one. Okay. I was just reading their update the other day or uh, earlier today about how they're going to be adding NPCs into this game. Yeah. Yeah, I was reading a bit about that too. I'm excited for that. That would make the game feel pretty, a lot less empty. Yeah, it, it, it'd feel a little bit more filled out. Even if they just do, like, you know, basic trading or whatever. Careful, there's more of them down here. Sorry. I just hope there's just the one. No cure on that guy either. Imagine since we only just implemented this, it's going to take some time. All right, I gotta go get some water. You okay for a minute if I go get some water? Yeah. I took care of the next guy that was a few feet away, so. Oh yeah, these corpses turned into skeletons over here. That's, they're gonna, the corpses are gonna start going away a little faster too. Just so you know. Cause I, I didn't like. How many bodies there were? Well, not just that, but how long they actually take to go away. I'm like, that's ridiculous, so. I set it so that they will go away just a little bit faster. Ah, toilet water for me. That's right. Mm -mm -mm. Delish. Hey, man. When you are desperate, <laughs> you know how it is. Come on. Come on. If, uh, if you guys have a chance as well, you should probably uh, make sure you're doing your exercises to try and raise your fitness and strength. Well, whenever we have free time, which is not something we have in abundance currently. Well, it's, it's just something you should do like once a day because you'll wind up getting exercise pain the longer you do it. Okay. How long do you do it for? Uh, I usually just do mine like for an hour, which will go until you're fully fatigued and then sit and rest until that goes away. And then you don't need to worry about it until the next day. Okay. It's a whole lot of metal it stuff takes, here. I think like 20 minutes in game. Doesn't matter time. which exercise you do. Uh, do the burpees because it'll do both uh, fitness and strength. Okay, good to know, man. Thanks. For an hour, holy crap! It's it's not going to take a whole lot. <laughs> All right, an hour of burpees. Have you? Burpees. Have you... 
not loving this world. <laughs> I have burpees every day. Have you ever done an hour of burpees, man? I don't like doing uh, two minutes of burpees, personally. <laughs> Yeah, I had, to do bur- I had to do burpees, I think, for like 90 seconds, and I was just like 20 seconds in, and it's like, nope, I'm done. Yeah. I am, I, for, for, you know, for most of the time, but not always, but most of the time I'm what you might call effort averse. So, I, you know, burpees for two minutes does sound horrific, but an hour? Yeah. No. I'm tired just hearing you say that. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to study up on electricity here, and... Uh... I guess I'll have to go around replacing light bulbs and stuff like that. Oh, I'm taking apart a bunch of metal shit because I really need to get my metal working up. I quit burpees already. <coughs> Just ran out. I'm absolutely exhausted, unpleasantly hot, really yeah. thirsty. Yeah. What is yeah, this when, once, you're, once you're done that, then you don't need to worry about it until like 24 hours later to do it again. Somehow I got over encumbered. That's a good trick. Uh, it's because uh, when you get the fatigue, the exercise fatigue, your strength and fitness lower by a level until that recovers. Yeah, but my base encumbrance increase. Yeah, your, your base 12 carry capacity will go down to 11. It didn't, though. It's still at 12. But the weight that I'm actually carrying went up. Oh, I took my hiking bag off when I was doing it. Ah! No, I need to drop that before doing the exercise, I guess, because it took it off my back. That explains everything. That explains everything. Because it's just like, bro, you want to do burpees while also carrying 60 pounds? Are you high? <laughs> I mean, you'd have to be. Well, I got 820 XP out of a mere 30,000. That's great. Hey, a little bit each day. That's much oh, like he said. 255.98 XP. Great. <laughs> a little bit each day, like he said. And at level six, you unlock stuff, right? What's it? Like I noticed in character creation, there were some traits that says this unlocks at fitness level six or something. Yeah, yeah. So when you get fitness and strength or uh, like sneaking or whatever up to certain levels, you'll unlock additional traits. So that's why it's not even not always necessarily bad if you take like unfit or obese or something like that. Because, you know, with enough time, you can overcome those negatives and turn them into positive. Assuming you don't, you know, die beforehand. Yeah, Yeah, assuming you don't die beforehand. Yeah, I just, with this character, I just went with unemployed and I took a few positives and that's it. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's the same thing I did. It's, I feel Fast like it's reader, graceful, inconspicuous, cat's eyes, and speed demon. Oh, you got cat's eyes. How is that one? I wanted to do that, but I. It's uh, um, it's a little nicer at night because you can see a little bit. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's it's not as dark. Um, it says plus twenty percent better vision at night. Yeah, it also gives a slight bonus to forging, which I've never done. So we probably should also do a bit of foraging as well. So if you go just out looking for stuff in like buildings or whatever, uh, turn on your little search uh, magnifying glass for search mode, and it'll it'll point some stuff out that you wouldn't have been able to find otherwise. Um, it'll turn uh, off automatically if you ready your weapon or if you start sprinting. Okay, that's handy. Yeah, I noticed it did show the occasional rock. And I didn't care. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the rocks would be for. I guess you might use them for a stone hammer or something. Mm-hmm. As long as I'm just sitting on my ass from these burpees, I might as well be reading a book. Yeah. Come join me. 
you know, it's actually a good idea. I should probably do my exercise first while I'm, while I'm waiting here. Burpees, 60 minutes. Go. I, I'm just going to sit right beside you watching you do burpees. Don't mind me. <laughs> Dude. Awesome. And if Ty adds in that clothing mod, we'll get some new uh, new choices of outfits. Which is obviously great. Customization. Yeah, man. That's what it's all about. Damn, there's some mo more zombies wandering around over here. They just don't want to go away, huh? Already at moderate exertion. Hopefully. I better hang out with Wayne because there's freaking zombies nearby. Well, I mean, you know, five XP a burpee isn't uh, isn't terrible. Come here, lady. I got something for you. Well, I guess I I have more strength XP from carrying on corpses and plates and shit, eh? Yes. Because I'm in like. 2100 strength XP and 900 fitness. This guy, uh, this lady has beta You're like blockers. a living god. That's it. I, I guess, but I've been carrying around so much crap and, you know, having to get that car fixed. I only started doing burpees today, too, and I only did it for, like, five minutes, I think, before I got exhausted. <laughs> yeah, this is only the second time I've actually done burpees on this character, so it's been a lot of carrying corpses, digging graves, all the other stuff. But it is nice that you'll passively gain um, while you're uh, you, carrying like heavy loads. Do you need this plank here, Wayne? Uh, yeah, there's just one underneath this body. I thought maybe you might have missed it. Yeah, I gotta go drop off stuff because I'm at the redonkulous capacity. Just gonna put it on the ground right here. You should be able to see it just fine now. Ah, oh, this is the problem with not having a gate. Is you can't always make the climb. <laughs> I biffed on that one. We'll work on a gate later, though. The wall is awesome. Well, I mean, the good news of a campfire is that we can, uh, you know cook some food. Yeah, please do. If you have the opportunity to make any of those... The broccoli in the fridge out in front, that's got to be part of a good recipe for something. Because you don't want to eat it individually, but I sure would like to put it into something that would make us happier to eat. If you know what I'm saying. Of course you know what I'm saying. What are you saying? Stuff about things. <laughs> right. <laughs> And I brought home a fresh okay, ham. So stones you can use to make a stone axe, a stone hammer, and a stone knife. Okay, we don't need salt and pepper in the fridge. We have other places for cooking stuff. This should, we don't want to use up space on things that we want to try to keep fresh. Oh, it's way brighter in here, huh? It's nice. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I loaded this game up and I looked at the character models, I was just like, are we still living in the era of like The Sims 1? <laughs> These are pretty old school character models, yeah. Yeah, I, I've already downloaded a couple of uh, uh, mesh and texture replacers. There was one that uh, makes it so hands actually have like the whole like five fingers rather than it just being a block. I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of like my blocky hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now I have digits. True. 
I guess this is what sets us apart from the monkeys. <laughs> yeah. 4K UHD mm. textures. Right. All right. Oh, wait, what? As God intended. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, thirsty. Take a drink. High exertion. Resting. Oh. Probably would have worked a little better if I'd actually dropped the right bag. <laughs> you know, the one with all my stuff in it on my back instead of the other one for overflow that's just getting in my pack. So how do you do exercises? I don't even see it. It's under health, under the health tab. Oh, right. Exercise. exercise. And he wants me to do burpees for an hour. It'll, you'll be done in like 20 minutes. Okay. There's still more burpees than I will ever have to do in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, man. But it's good to get that XP in while you can. I hear you. <laughs> Yeah, no, my endurance is like completely crashed here. All right, so now I need to put my duffel bag back on my back. Uh, and then I guess if anybody has the skill for it, we probably need to replace or fix that window in the living room. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean here. Um, and put a, put a sheet up on that, too. Just barricade it. That's good. Barricade Barricade's good. Yep. So nobody has carpentry four yet, hey? <coughs> I don't even have carpentry yet. I, I'm on three. Okay. Four takes a lot of XP to go up, get up to. Yeah, but you read the book for the boost, right? I'm almost on three. Nice, because you're... Inter intermediate is for three and four. Yep. Got that. Yep, you read... Yeah. Uh, they're not... Hiding. You're almost there. Can you go a little bit further into the corner? Oh, and they're also there. On the right hand side, you can scroll through all the boxes. Um, but uh, yeah, so once you guys get to four, you can make those rain collectors, and I'm really excited about that. Oh, do we have any? Uh, I can't build them yet. What's that? Dan's at three? Are you sure there are three? No, it's, it's, oh, wait. Carpentry four, carpentry seven. Yeah, no, this, is, this one says four. Composters are two. Why the fuck are they so goddamn hard to make? Right? Like, put the bag in the box. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, it's raining. Nice. We'll get some water.
Yeah, I'll go collect these ones because they look full. Yep. Collecting up these buckets and bring them in, boil them up, add them to the water dispenser in there. Okay, I don't think changing light bulbs is raising my electrical skill, so... I took apart a range hood over top of a stove and it got me some electrical. So go take apart things in people's kitchens. That's yeah. it. That boosted it for me. I'll go get my toolbox. That's what boosted it for me, was taking apart shit in kitchens. Some of it gives me metalworking, some of it gave me electrical. So it was, it was all relative. And there's lots of restaurants around here filled with kitchens. It'd be nice to find a bag that has better than uh, 30 weight reduction. Uh, duffel bags have 60 weight reduction. Mm -hmm. Do we have any right now? I think there was yeah. at least one extra one in that box over there. This satchel bag is not cutting it. Oh yeah, no, we have, I think we have extra duffel bags and they, they give much more weight reduction, which is what you're looking for. Got a hiking backpack which has 70 weight reduction, which is pretty sweet. Very nice. And it holds 20 pounds. Alright, get these buckets, get this bowl of water. back outside. Wow, these turn into a bucket of water like instantly. Oh, that's much better. And I can actually carry things. Full or not? Got it. I can look there. Well, whatever. I'm going to leave those there to collect more water, because for the meantime, it is all good. The scrap wood's not good for anything but burning? I've been putting all the scrap wood into the fireplace, and it's keeping that fire going nicely. It's kind of a nice light source, and like he says, I can just throw food and water on there whenever I get close by and great. Nice. Did you explore any recipes there, Ochi, for things to cook? Uh, no. I went through all the recipe books that we had, though. Okay. Just because I would like to 
start using some of those things and getting some some real food going. I'm going to remove the light bulbs over here. Well, there's tons of places to remove light bulbs from. Cool. Weird that I can't take apart this metal buffet. This one I can. Okay, let's get this all together. I could uh, dis dismantle televisions. That would do it. Oh, you can do that without a propane torch? You need a screwdriver. Nice. At least for the value tech ones. Alright, fine. If you want to come in the house. Beat you to death. Guess they really want to visit with you. Family fashion. Okay. I just now discovered you can zoom out. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, guess you never felt the need to zoom prior to now. It's really handy. Yeah. It's Now you're zooming. <laughs> uh. Oh, there's TV. Oh man, TVs only give like 2 XP. Oh. Gonna have to find a lot of them. Uh. 
payphones you can disassemble. That's a good one, yep. I think this. I don't think there's going to be enough uh, TVs in this area to. Yeah, I got 15 XP for disassembling a payphone. Wow. Got my first level uh, of carpentry. Let's try radio. <coughs> oh, that scared me. You got me. <laughs> uh, another, another two for a radio. It must just be the value tech stuff is just garbage, so I find higher quality stuff to dismantle. Uh, yeah, dismantle some headphones. Oh, oh fuck! Uh oh. Don't die. I'm not going to die, but I'm going to get bit because apparently I missed. How the hell did I miss? I don't. Who knows? Got a bandage. Throwing the bandage on. Don't worry about it. Fine. I got jumped too, so. Yeah, but I, I, just, oh, I don't feel like I missed, but whatever. <laughs> the game decided I missed. I, I can't argue with that. And decided to spawn a zombie on the bottom floor of this building that I had already cleared. Oh, I was looking right at mine. I was ready. I was got my bat ready. I'm like, here it comes, the timing, the swing, and it lunged through my swing. Oh, found another shotgun. Come here, Mr. Zombie. I have a baseball bat with nails with your name on it. <laughs> It says Mr. Zombie right on it. That's nice. <laughs> you should teach me how to etch your bat with that. So yeah, I can cut down trees because I have an axe, which gives me logs. This guy was carrying a ton of food and pop on him. Oh my god. Ah, oh, getting over this fence is a real pain in the ass. Oh, that's because it was Wayne's body. Oh, nice. Cool. Well, bring all that shit home. Uh, There's one thing I've learned is that the stuff Wayne collects eventually gets back to us. <laughs> right, Wayne? <laughs> we'll get it eventually. Don't worry. <laughs> I, I just haven't been able to find my body yet because uh, i got a couple out there with some good shit on them, too. Shotgun and a pistol. Alright, so we're putting door hinges out here. That's great. Door knobs. Okay, nice. I'm loving the sorting going on out here. Uh, another bulletproof vest, too. I'm going to bring that. Planks are here. More planks. More planks. Planks. Scrap wood. Actually, no. Oh, the broccoli went rotten. You said it didn't. It, you lied to us. it didn't have the fresh symbol next to it. Oh, no! I ate the carrots that aren't fresh anymore. Okay. 
Did you eat the rotten carrots? They're not rotten, but they're not fresh anymore. So they have the uh, the negative ten effect of being lame. Oh. So don't eat the carrots anymore, I guess. All right. God damn it. Okay, I got some bacon. I'll bring it to make it up to you. <laughs> Everybody loves bacon. You'll probably want to cook it, though. I have a sneaking suspicion. <laughs> All right, are we still putting light bulbs in here? I found a cooking pot. I'm gonna stick that in a stove and re-sterilize some of my bandages. Oh, or I would, but there's no power. What? You need power to sterilize your bandages? Well, in a stove I do. Oh, well, of course you do. You want to pick up a stove and bring one over here? Uh, I don't have an option. For you do. So, on the left-hand menu, below the heart, there's the hammer. Below that, there's a pickup menu. Select pickup. Put it underneath the stove. You could absolutely pick up that stove. Oh, I need electrical skill to do that. To pick it up? I don't have enough electrical skill. Oh, well... I didn't know you needed electrical to pick it up, but I know you can pick things up. That's how I brought the water bottle over here. That is very good to know. Thank you. You can pick up anything, as long as you have the ability to do it. There's some bacon in the fridge for you, Ty. Okay, I'm going to come cook that bacon, and I'm going to make myself far less sad with it. Oh, look at all the stuff you brought. And mayonnaise. Okay, there's some non-perishables in here that I'm going to take out. Bacon and mayonnaise. It's a match made in heaven. <laughs> Wish you hadn't said that. I'm going to move the broccoli over to your compost bit as well while I'm at this. <laughs> Bacon and mayonnaise. Gross. I mean, I put them both on BLTs. It's not that gross, but just by themselves with nothing else, it's gross. I guess I can eat. Uh, I guess I can eat this gravy like like you did that one time there. That sounded pretty oh, good. Pain. Who's done this to me? Uh, it was most likely you. Probably. All right, I'm gonna take. I'm to get dirty and bloody, so I'm gonna bathe. I guess. That seems a good time to do that. Yeah. All right, so I've got a weapon, melee weapon. I guess I'll put that in here. Broccoli is rash. Broccoli. So the compost is out here, I'm guessing. This broccoli is really heavy, actually. Ah, I see a compost bin. It's over there. All right. This is just a crate. Huh. Okay. I'm uh, bringing more happy reading material. Oh, everyone likes that stuff. Notice my boredom hasn't gotten nearly as bad lately, though. Yeah, I've never had any problems with boredom on this character. Like, I still haven't <coughs> even had that mood that show up yet. That's because when we're near each other, it goes away now. No, I know, but, like, even when you guys were all together and I was off on my own mm -hmm. fixing a car, oh. never had it happen once. I guess fixing the car was entertaining enough. I guess. I think it probably helps when you don't have uh, gouges in your flesh from zombie fingernails all over the place. True, because I didn't have a lot of that happen. So. I'm going to throw some fresh tomatoes in uh, the fridge. Cool. The fridge. Thank you. 
At some point, I need to get in there, and so somebody does, and get in there to start some recipe cooking, some some making of things. It's getting awfully dark yeah, out here. I'm just throwing some ground beef on the fire at the moment. Oh no, no, <laughs> we should. Oh, we to do it. Yeah, we definitely need to find like actual recipes, but that's. Great. But I mean, if I don't, it's just gonna rot anyway. So. This is right. Yeah, I don't know who wants to do cooking. I guess everybody's kind of got a good amount of jobs right now. Put all this tainted water onto the fire. And add as much of it as I can. You're too fat to climb the fence? Too fat, got it. I mean... <laughs> you fat fucker. <laughs> Uh, oh shit, my bandage is dirty again. Why am I in severe pain? What the hell? I don't know, man. Have I been standing too close to the fire? Maybe I'm not uh, hot. Now I'm sad. Shit. Oh, oh my infection. I'm got, I got an infection. Uh, alcohol. So, so. Oh, there's my exercise fatigue. Disinfect. Bandage. All right, let me get back here. Okay, if I can hop this fence, then we can all sleep and get daytime. Just a sec, I have to grab all the water. Or it's pointless. I don't know what happens if I leave the water on the fire too long. I imagine it evaporates. I don't know if this game takes that into account or not. That would be pretty funny if it did. I know if you leave food on the cook too long. Yeah, uh, it burns. Burning and then you get unhappiness and boredom. That's right. Oh, I got exercise fatigue on all my limbs. That might explain the pain somewhat. Yeah. That's got to be it. Oh, I'm almost at level two long blunt. I should go smash some more zombies, too. Nice, man. That's that's great. Holy shit. It's just done. Uh, is everybody there? No, oh, she's not back yet. And i got to go place a couple of things outside, and then, then yes, we will do that. Yeah, I'm still waiting for my exertion to go down enough that I can hop this fence. Yeah, sounds like you need sleep. <laughs> yeah. It really does. Ah, son of a bitch. Come on, just let me put this bowl down, would you? You're queasy. That's not good. Okay, right now. There we go. Okay, I'm back. And we're back, baby. All right, let's see. My everything's good here. Welder's mask. Wind resistance, water resistance, bite defense, scratch for 30, 50. All right, sleepy time. Sleepy time. Oh, Sleep. Too much pain. <laughs> oh. I'll just put myself in sleep mode. All right, I'll wait until you're done with sleep mode then. I'm going to put this cooking pot with water down on the uh, campfire. Thank you. Water are good. Now, now we can disinfect some rags with the water that's in there. Because I got the water dispenser up to 151 out of 250, which isn't too bad, but I know that we all stop by and take drinks out of it from time to time, so I'll aim to try to keep it as full as possible. Uh, okay, I'm gonna dump off some more crap. <laughs> yep. Well, I'm assuming this sleep thing works even if we're not all crabbed on the same mattress, right? 
as long as everybody's out of bed and they go to sleep. Yeah. We don't have to use the same one all the time, but it's what we have for now. That's funny, though. It's the biggest one. Yep. It's how you stay warm, man. <laughs> so let's see. There's enough fuel on the campfire for 45 hours in game. So that's pretty good because, you know, I keep just picking up all the scrap wood I find out there. Probably more out there, anyway. What the hell is that? I'm in agony. Oh, are you infected? Um, something's definitely wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm in severe pain right now from the exercise stuff. So I wonder if you just need to... Sleep? Rest? Do some exercise? Oh, no, I'm killing too much. Uh, Why would he do exercise when he's in agony? That does not make sense. I've been lying on the mattress, and I went from mild pain to I'm in agony. Oh, but it doesn't say why. No. Um, is your health going down? And I, I took some painkillers, too. My health is not going down. Well, that's good, at least. So we know it's not an infection. Uh, over here. I did cook that ground beef before I ate it, so... Probably not parasites. Uh, I'm gonna eat some more painkillers. Why not? Because we don't want to run out. I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. I'm in minor pain now. I don't know how what happened. Maybe this fire really is way too close to the mattress. Oh, my whole body has exercise fatigue suddenly? I wasn't even exercising. No, but it's the fatigue from yesterday. Uh, so can we get the sleep thing going here, OG? I'm trying. I'm clearing out my inventory as fast as I can. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Yeah, this is a uh, pain in the ass. Oh, now I'm down to severe pain. Yeah, it's got to be that fire. It's too close to the mattress. We should move the mattress. Well, or the fire, but... Uh... We should move something. If you're in the room, we should realistically move the fire outside. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. Or into the room with the generator or something, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be a great place to sleep, yeah. Because it gives off carbon monoxide, you said? No, move the fire there. Yeah, move the fire. <laughs> I don't know. It would help us sleep. <laughs> That's, you want to sleep, right? If, if, you, if you go to sleep while there's uh, carbon monoxide, oh. you actually will die. You, you won't die as long as you're awake, but if you go to sleep with it, yeah, it'll kill you. You know what? I'm just going to quit and go to sleep. Who's oh, yeah, inviting me to some faction? What the hell is this crap? I just made a faction because I uh, just figured out how to do it while I was sitting here. All right. Fine. I'm a chump. <laughs> okay. I finally am not doing Still can't sleep because of too much pain. That's okay. I'm I'm done with that crap. The sleeping crap? Yeah, the sleeping crap. Yeah, I don't know. I, it's... I'm I'm tired of sleeping in a fire. <laughs> it's not okay. good for my health. All right, I'm gonna move something. I kind of I kind of want to move the fire. Just let me see what I can do here. About uh... does anybody know how to build a freaking a bar element yet? Plank, nails, carpentry, seven. Guess not. Um, let's see. Put out fire. And then take campfire materials. Grab cooking pot with water. Um what happened to all of the wood that was on that? Oh, uh, I probably should have mentioned, but you need to take the wood out first. 
Okay. If you, take, if you pick up the <coughs> fire, you lose all the material. Okay, well, that was fun. Um, what a pain in the ass. There's more scrap wood in the... Uh... Yeah, there is a little bit, but not as much as I had on there. I have to go cruise around and find more. It's not the end of the world. I just wish I could see just a little bit better in here to place this. I imagine, because this, this game actually has, like, actual fire in it. If I place this on top of one of these boxes, it'll probably start them on fire. So where should I put this, I wonder? I can't see. Right there. That so much sucks that it just took everything. <clears throat> All right. Now I know what happens to scrap wood. Yeah, there's like five scrap wood out here. Because I grabbed most of it the last time I passed by it to put it into the fire. <laughs> Add fuel, we'll add all of that. So, uh, if you look at your exercise menu, and next to each of the uh, types of exercise, you'll notice that there's a uh, regularity bar. The more full that bar is, the less exercise fatigue you'll wind up getting when you do those exercises. Okay. Why the hell is my max weight lower suddenly? I don't have any fatigue anywhere. That's a neat trick. I'm in agony again for some reason. It can't be the fire, because uh, it's not even on. Oh, I imagine it's because the painkillers wore off. Although, <sighs> it's only been like a couple hours. They're really shitty painkillers. Right, so the fire's over there now. No, don't put it next to the wooden boxes. Don't do that. But what the fuck, man? Okay. Like... Do you want the whole <sighs> warehouse to catch fire? Don't do that. <laughs> Uh, there's no way to take the wood back out of this. So the wood that I just added into this as fuel, there's no way to take them out. Even if I put the fire out, there's no option to take that stuff back out anywhere. So oh, we're moving, eh? <laughs> Why? We're gonna burn the place down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I uh, I tried to put it somewhere. You know what? He's gonna place it. I'm just gonna go away, and he can put the fire somewhere that it works. Not outside though, because you know the rain will kill it. I'm just gonna put it in the middle of this other room over here. Okay. It's not gonna provide any light when we're in that main room, then. That's fine. Okay. Sounds good to me. We need a light switch. We do. We can get torches or something like that, or we can have the fire on here and then have this door open and let the light come through that way. Our big, open the windows. Our big worry is burning the place down, but we'll just get torches. <laughs> Sorry, I love that. It will be less of a fire hazard, but I don't think we can make torches in there. I don't believe so, no. I think there's just candles and flashlights on a stick are the only options I've seen. Yeah. 
Well, here, what I can do, I think, is uh, you can go scavenging for uh, for firewood. I'll uh, I'll do that. Where did you put the fire? Oh, in that other room, right? Okay, cool. Yeah. Good times. Good times. Shit. Okay, so now I've got a bunch of tainted water I can't do anything with. Why did I grab that? Because I'm an idiot. Oh, yeah. Uh. I don't understand why my... Max weight capacity changed. Could we keep doors closed? Is that a thing? Yeah. Z zombie wanders in there. We're uh, we're history, man. I don't want to burn planks, but what else are we going to do? We could burn scrap wood. Don't have any. There's plenty in the house over to the right and down yeah. a little bit. Yeah. I'll go grab some if, if I can, because... I can also scavenge for some in the... I'm wood. in agony for no reason. Yeah, we're trying to figure that one out still, too, aren't we? Maybe it's because I haven't pooped in days. <laughs> it's not a thing we could actually... They haven't added that to the game yet. <laughs> yeah, this game is really realistic if you've got to keep track of BMs, too. Uh, it's too fantastic for life right there. <laughs> oh, well, at least we don't have a shortage of seeds. Wow, eating cooked bacon makes me bored and unhappy. That's a lie. Yeah, that's some bullshit. These people obviously don't know how bacon works. I know, right? <laughs> it's the opposite of that. Four to two fifty, well, two forty three out of two fifty. We're good. Oh, well, look at that duffel bag inside of a duffel bag. It's nice and bright outside again, so we can get back to work, Amazing. ya bums.
Right, got some scrap wood for you. Yeah, I saw you piled it in there. Thank you. That looks really great. Well, it looks like shit, but it should do the trick. No, you're right. It, it'll do the trick, all right. I'm just going to grab it and throw it in the fire right now. Just keep the fire going at all times, basically. I hear somebody scream. I did. Yeah. I don't know where they were screaming from? No. Yeah, well, it's one of those um, background <laughs> ambiance things they added. Yeah. I'm going foraging for materials here. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll start raising that skill while I can. I agree. Well, I ate all that bacon. It also didn't satisfy me very much. It's very Whoa, weird. Why are these zombies so quick? Are they cheating again? I don't know why, but my pain has started going down, so... That's fair. Good. You, don't, you don't know why it was there to start with, so it is, yeah. Oh. It can disappear just as easily. We don't need to worry about that. I can only assume I burned myself somehow. Oh, thanks for Oh. Fresh ones? Yep. That's brilliant. Okay, I am going to... Somebody's got to do it, so it's going to be me. All right, cooking. Where the fuck is that cooking book? Ooh, some mushrooms. Wow, mushrooms were worth how much foraging? Probably a lot. Cooking for beginners. Read. Wow. Oh my god, there are a lot of zombies over here. Holy shit. I'm going to start taking this huge group apart. Oh, so nice that you turned that setting for weapons to hit multiple on. I like the way you said that. Yeah, <laughs> all multiple zombies on. Come here. Let me take you out. And I don't mean on a date.
Yeah. Getting that cooking going. And I'm going to try to figure out some recipes to use up some of this stuff before it goes bad. I was 30 XP, oh wow. For one deal. Bored and sad from eating three whole carrots. Yep. Bullshit. <laughs> yep. That's how it goes, man. Okay, so I need a cooking pot of water. Do we have? I'm sorry you're bored and sad, Dad. <laughs> okay, I'll do some burpees that'll make everything better, I'm sure. <laughs> Well, here, where are you? You're over here. Where are you at? Helicopter. Uh oh. Yep. I thought I disabled it. If they see you, they will hover above you and draw zombies in. Is there a way to tell if they've seen you? I well, don't I'm know. Inside, so I'm pretty sure they haven't seen me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I thought I disabled it. Ah, oh, I guess it didn't take, didn't save the settings when I did that. I'm coming. Well, don't. Yeah, why are you coming here? Um, I'm hiding in a different building. Fair enough. <laughs> You can't look at the sky, so you can't tell where it is. Funny you can't ever look up. It's weird that you can only hear it when you're outside, too. I, I'm inside and I hear it. No, I, don't, I don't hear it in this other building. I mean, lucky you? I, Yeah. Okay, so apparently I do one burpee per minute. Nicely, so nicely done. explains why you can do them for an hour. Well, still though, that's 60 of them. Man. 
you can read at the same time? Same time as you're doing burpees? Yeah. What? No. Seem right. No, no, I was oh, asked. I was a question. Okay, no. So I heard, remember you saying, like, I might as well read a book if I'm going to be doing this. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> you can do burpees and read? That's amazing. Well, no, you, you read the book once you get exhausted. So you okay. You have to take a break. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because I was picturing you doing burpees and reading, and I'm just like, that, you're fucking that was, Superman. That you're a Superman. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't even be that. I would just be like, can you teach this skill to others? <laughs> right? Totally. Um, yeah, you're Superman. To be fair, at one burpee per minute, you probably could. You're Freddie Mercury. I saw this thing the other day, or it was today actually. Um, somebody drew a mustache on Superman, and he just looks like Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Amazing! I was like, "Wow." <laughs> what did Clark Kent look like with a mustache? Uh, uh, Freddie Mercury with glasses, I would assume. Like, I don't know. It actually looked a little like Archer as well. That was the first thing I thought. I was like, "Yeah, oh, that looks a little like Archer." Okay, the helicopter's gone. The helicopter's leaving. Yeah. Good. Fine. It's off in the distance, anyway. Oh, a bunch of no, it's with coming it. around. It's coming back, yep. They saw you, Ochi. They might have. <clears throat> oh, and there's a zombie stumbled over the fence. Yeah, there, there's a few zombies that are coming over this way. Probably because of the helicopter. Oh, smash that. He's dead, dude. I didn't smash it, you did. <laughs> no, well, he was going to try and smash the boards over on the door. Because he's a dick. Oh, they're on the outside trying to smash it. Oh, and the helicopter's still here. Shit. Yeah, it's gonna draw. It's gonna draw a horde. Thanks, rescuers. Can't <laughs> go out and just start fighting zombies. To be honest, there's a lot of them coming. Yeah, there's a. Whack them over here. I'm just gonna start taking them out because otherwise this is gonna become unmanageable. Yeah, I'm doing the same. I'm doing the same over here. Come here, dipshits. Come here. Well, who knows? One of these guys might have a cure or some pills. Or something. Holy shit! There's a lot of zombies. What the fuck? As if. This game likes to cheat sometimes, I'm telling you. That is a lot of zombies. Holy shit. Yeah, the helicopter brings them. It'll bring an entire fucking horde down on us. Oh, Jesus. Look at them all over here. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was referring to. <sighs> this is why you shouldn't have gone outside, you silly daft. I was outside while it was here. I didn't really have a choice. Jesus, there's so many uh, guys. They're, they're... Thankfully, this bat is doing numbers. Okay, somehow I managed to miss this guy with that swing, and I think that's dumb. Oh, I also turned on the thing that makes it so they hit multiple fucking targets at once. Yes, I've noticed. It's amazing. Okay. Again, I gotta disinfect. I need to go and get some fucking... I need a bandage. Oh, no. I don't have enough bandages on me, and I can't go inside because we're overrun. Thankfully, for the most part, they seem more interested in following the noise. Oh my god! 